This week on TGC News, lasers and BB guns, Kimbers and classics, and of course, some more summertime deals. My Case Builder offers one of the coolest ways to protect your investments. Whether you just want custom comb for a case you have, or you want to design a custom setup from top to bottom. You can do that using their growing library of shapes and cases. You can even trace your own to get that ultra custom setup. To get 10% off your entire order, use the code TGC-10 at MyCaseBuilder.com. Welcome back to another episode of TGC News, the only gun news show that covers things you actually care about. My name is John Patton. Remember, if you haven't done so yet on YouTube, go ahead and get subscribed and ring the bell to get notified of new episodes. On Facebook, to do the same thing, hit C first. And remember, we are also giving away a total of four Zero Delta Optic mounts worth about $280 each. The winner of last week is Brandon Ramos from Palmer. Alaska. Brandon, if you want to shoot us a message to get us your info to claim your prize, do so on Facebook. All you have to do to get entered to win one of the two we have left in this giveaway is post a picture of your rifle or rifles on the Zero Delta Facebook page and tell them where you're from. That's it. And hey, while you're there, hit like on their page. Now, how about some news? First up, the U.S. House of Representatives did something positive for once the other day. They voted to update the NDAA, or National Defense Authorization Act, which is something they do every year, but this time it included the mandatory transfer of some 100,000 World War II-era 1911s from the Army to the CMP, the Civilian Marksmanship Program. And guess what that means, boys and girls? You will be able to buy one. This is set for the 2018 fiscal year, but it's not a done deal just yet. If you want to see this actually happen, you need to call your representatives and senators and tell them to support the current verbiage so that we can get some sweet old school 45s. Pick up the phone and start dialing! And speaking of 1911s, Kimber just announced four new guns. First up, the Royal 2 Texas Edition. This will be limited to 800 total units and features a bunch of nice scroll work on the slide and a deep black oxide finish topped off with some Texas themed grips. MSRP on this is set at 1633, which is actually less than I expected for a limited edition Kimber. They also announced the continued expansion of the Revolver lineup. Historically, I've been really hard on Kimber for quality control, but it seems they've done really well with the introduction of the K6S in early 2016. Since then, it's been pretty good. The three new models of the K6S include the stainless 3-inch, which is exactly what it sounds like, followed by the DC, which is a DLC-coated gun that has G10 grips and a 2-inch barrel, and rounding things out is the CDP, which is the sister to the CDP 1911 in color scheme, which is a two-tone look, and also features a similar color wood grip. All of these are chambered in 357 Magnum with MSRPs of 899 1155 and 1155 respectively. I gotta be honest, even without an exposed hammer, that's kind of weird looking, they really do look nice overall. I don't have enough trigger time on one of these to say whether or not it's going to properly hold up, but maybe Kimber is turning a corner and getting things right. What do you guys think? Would you buy a Kimber wheel gun over a Smith or a Ruger? And in gun industry evolution news, Crossman, yes, the Crossman that you remember from your childhood BB gun, has acquired the commercial assets, aka civilian market, for a very well-known company called LaserMax. I'm sure you're familiar with their guide rod lasers and things of that nature. We've talked about this type of thing with larger holding companies such as American Outdoor Brands and Vista buying up smaller brands and diversifying their holdings in the market. It makes sense from a business perspective. Well, Cody, otherwise known as Compass Diversified Holdings, bought Crossman back in June of this year. They also already own a few companies you might know, such as 511 and Sterno and a few others. So as it turns out, they wanted to bring LaserMax into the fold under the Crossman brand. LaserMax has some really neat products that we're actually gonna be featuring here on TGC in the coming months. And I suspect that Crossman is looking to take that and grow and take some of that technology and IP and apply it within their own product line and kind of expand and grow. Only time will tell in that regard 
regard, but it is interesting to see the way the gun industry is kind of evolving these days. We're seeing some big moves and big companies being shifted around. I'll be really interested to see if Compass, the parent company in this case, decides to buy a gun company in the not so distant future to kind of round out their brand lineup. We shall see. Continuing our spotlight of summertime deals, Ed Brown, who makes fancy 1911s, for those that are unaware, is offering a free Crimson Trace laser grip worth about three dollars to $400, depending on model, with the purchase of any in-stock 1911. So a sweet 1911 with a laser grip. That's not too shabby if you were in the market for both of those things already. Thompson Center is also doing a mail-in rebate of up to $75 if you buy one of their rifles. And as far as I can tell, it covers just about everything in their product line. More info for what amount goes with what gun down in the description. And last but not least, Chris is offering a free Vortex Spark AR with the purchase of any non-NFA vector. That's a bonus of about 200 bucks. Again, not a bad deal. As always, there are links down in the description to find out if you qualify for these rebates and deals. And if you know of one that I haven't talked about, let me know in the comments. Sharps Brothers offers some of the most unique and well-built AR-15 and AR-10 receivers around, with models like the Warthog, the Jack, the Hellbreaker, or even the classic-looking Mean Streak. You'll be sure to find something to fit your build. To learn more about these and all of the other products that they make, head over to sharpsbros.com. Our gun tuber this week is someone that I got exposed to very early in his journey, and now that he's kind of hit his stride, I want you guys to see his videos. Jonathan is always putting out solid tabletop review type content, and I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it. Let's check out Tactical Toolbox. What's up? So today, we're gonna take a second look at the Blacklist Industries barrel. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. We reviewed this back in February and we did an accuracy test and we concluded that this barrel was definitely more accurate than the S3F Solutions barrel and the OEM Glock barrel with 147 grain ammunition. Definitely check out Jonathan's channel and tell him TGC sent you. And hey, if you know of a different channel that I haven't featured yet, go ahead and post a comment with a link to that channel down below. And I guess that's it. Help a brother out, like the video if you enjoyed it. If you didn't, hit that thumbs down to let me know you didn't enjoy it. If you haven't yet, please get subscribed. You won't want to miss a single week of the show. And as always, thank you all for watching. We'll see you soon. The shirts worn in today's episode of TGC News were provided by Patriot Patch Company. Click the link in the description to learn more.